So the statement that came out on Melly's Instagram a couple of weeks ago or a month ago or whatever, like a long ass statement basically about the treatment that he's been enduring within the jail and, and having his phone privileges taken away, not being able to speak to you guys, not being able to speak to his lawyers, et cetera, basically just making it out to be like, you know, obviously jail is not supposed to be a great experience, but making it out to be like truly inhumane. Uh, how did that statement come about? Like, and I'm not sure if you guys, how much you can say, but like w what made things rise to the occasion where that statement felt like it had to be issued? It was just months of going on. Like we had a hearing and the judge basically said like he can't do anything when it comes down to the jail. The jail has their own rules. They make their own rules. So even though like, you know, he has they're violating his constitutional rights, like to be able to have phone calls and have any kind of contact with the public, with his with his family, like outside of the jail. Like we don't know if he's eating, if he's not, if he's good or what. Like we just don't know nothing and it's like he's in the county like he's not in no prison a lot of people keep saying that it's so annoying he's not in prison he's at the Broward County Jail he hasn't went to trial yet he so he's just we're just sitting what's the main thing that we're waiting on for him to go to trial um so basically the death penalty hat you know right, they're still debating we're still that, debating that. Oh that's, that's, that's the whole crazy. reason like we're still debating on like they're well they're still debating like the Supreme Court and everything they're still debating on if he should get the death penalty so, or not. So that's what we're really Or if on. that should be included it in be the included trial. It should be included when we go to trial. So we're basically trying not to go to trial with the death penalty on. So it's just, we're just in waiting. And then now the holidays have come. And so nothing's open. And it's just more time and more time. Wow. And I mean, you, so you, when would you say you think seems likely that the trial could start or that this whole death penalty thing could be resolved? Probably, I'm I'm thinking February or March. Really? It's supposed to be relatively soon? Yeah, it's supposed to be the first of the year. Wow. So within the first three to four months of the year. Right. And so, but him putting that statement out, I mean, how did that message get to whoever is operating his Instagram? I don't know. Because he doesn't have access to the phone, right? It's like, was he able to write a letter or? If he writes know, letters, know. so... He Is probably, it? most likely, he, like, wrote a letter. Cause I don't run his Instagram. <laughs> really? <laughs> no. Okay. Is it the label or management or something? Yeah, he has, like, management and the label and stuff like that. But, yeah. Damn. That's terrible. Um, But but he still still doesn't have phone privileges. Nothing's no. changed since that statement still went public. Still hasn't, I still haven't spoke to my son. Damn. How long has it been? Like, it's been a few months. I actually... Got to talk to him for like probably three minutes on Thanksgiving. Really? So. And he was just randomly able to get access to the phone? Yeah, and he like called. What's that? You know, a little Fortnite dance over here? Uh, <laughs> huh? What is that? Like, we chilling. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it really did seem like some kind of Fortnite dance. I don't know specifically. Maybe like a TikTok thing. Like y'all were saying? This one is the one we're trying to force him to do TikTok. I mean, he needs to get more involved with TikTok with his new project dropping. <sighs> so mm, TikTok, bro. You not feeling thing. it? Nah, bro. TikTok is like, bro. Bro, I posted my brother message that he like everybody wanted us to post. I posted it, bro. They took it down. TikTok took it down. I had to appeal it to get it put back up. And I'm just looking like, bro. Y'all got people posting like gore and like porn on here. Ass. No, like literally, like no, like real, like porn. You gotta send me a link to that because I haven't seen a lot. Of, you're not supposed to be able to post real porn. On December, that. on December twenty second of twenty twenty two, bro. If you were on TikTok that day, bro, that just showed you how much like TikTok does not care about their platform, bro. There was gore, like bro. There was a bro. I was on TikTok, bro. There was a woman holding like, like, photographed holding a like a child's dead head. Like a decapitated head of a child. And then there was a man, his face was blurred, he had an axe. You swipe to the next slide, the axe is bloody and he's holding a child's head. And then it was just a lot of like old gore like that surfaced over the years. And I was like, yo, I'm seeing all this. Cause I'm like scrolling, I'm like, yo, I just deleted the app. And then 
TikTok finally got it in control. But that really comes because they don't have a lot of control over their slideshow. It's crazy. The uh, stuff that they, uh, like, I had a girl in here yesterday who had a million followers and she lost her account because she called another girl a whale. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Just whale. Whale? I mean, there's a lot more to a whale than just being fat, right? Yeah. No, it is. You're fat. She could have had a spout. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I don't realistically, know. it was probably a fat thing, but I'm still like, is this how you could lose your account with a million followers for calling a person a whale one time? Man, that's, that's why I was that talking. Is. I was talking to somebody in the back, like while my friend was on live. I was talking to somebody in the back, and I said, "Nigga, bro, his on TikTok." Yes. Yeah, I heard. I heard and that doesn't go over well. His live got terminated. And his account got banned, and I was like, "I'm black." What's the issue? Your friend lost his whole account for you saying that? In, in the, the background. background. I'm oh talking to somebody. God. I'm like, they got people posting gore on here, bro. That's insane. I don't do TikTok too much. You don't? You stay off social media in general? No, I'm on social media. Okay. Just Instagram, though? Mostly Instagram. Keep it traditional? Yeah, you know. What happened to your hand? Oh, so, You getting yeah. a little scrap or something? <laughs> no. Actually, a police officer did it. How? Broward when? police officer. <laughs> Um, October, I'm in hand therapy for it. Yeah. But where, what was the encounter with the police over? Yeah, they was trying to, you know. Was this at the jail? Nah, this was, nah, it was nah, like so some other stuff. <laughs> She's not going to say it, but, you know, this more like if you know, you know the situation. But basically, Broward police had a warrant out for her phone. They tried to do an illegal search. They grabbed her hand, twisted it. Tore some ligaments in her hand, and then they did an illegal search, and they did. They did. It's the all most, gonna come right? out because we're gonna we're going to court for it. This was at your house? No, this nah, is this while was she at, was being at the courthouse. She was being um questioned or something like that for another another case that kind of branched off from my brother's situation. Right. And then, but it's just if you know, you know, like it's, it's all it's, it's all bullcrap. But but is this the situation where they're accusing him of having put a hit out on you? Mm-mm. No, th- no. Nope. There's a whole separate case. This, this is a whole, witness. This, this is a witness tampering. Like, oh, there's another case. Re- yeah, result. they they came after me. I had I don't know why. I'm like I am a mom and work full time as a nurse. Like I have nothing to do with nothing. But but this is this is what they're doing. Four years later, now they're attacking the mom. What the fuck? Like I was blown. I'm like, but how what? much tampering did they think that you could have done? Or were they saying that you spoke to somebody on the outside or something like that? Something like that, but then it turned out like it was all lies and not proven and everything, but you already assaulted me for no reason because you wanted to take my phone. Like, that was crazy. So Wow. Yeah. Do you feel like the the, the local police and everything just have, like, a real vendetta against you and your family just because of his success and everything? Yeah. I feel like it's it's so public, and they've done so many things. In this case, it's, like, kind of wrong and... Yo, we just hit 400,000 subscribers right here on the Clips channel. So if you want to help us out, click subscribe, get us to 500K. 